There's a way of studying philosophy in many universities nowadays that treats philosophy as a kind of acquisition of a certain skill set and a certain knowledge base. Uh, so that you just sort of like know what philosophy is and then you do okay on your tests or something. Uh, but philosophy in the classical tradition, philosophy in its fullest, noblest tradition has always been not just about knowing things, but about cultivating a whole way of life, inquiring about the universe, about the deep psyche and the deep cosmos, uh, and crafting a life on that philosophy as spiritual exercise or philosophy as way of life. And it's one of the things that we've tried to do here at CIS is to have a program that distinctly focuses on the study of philosophy as a whole integral project. It's something that we don't just do with our heads, but that we also do with our imaginations, with our hearts, with our bodies, and in community. And so that begins to seem a lot more relevant when you include all of those aspects. The Philosophy, Cosmology, and Consciousness program uh, requires all three words. It, it's, it's interesting that the way in which philosophy has become kind of a dry subject in America. And, and students, you know, they get turned off, it's all heady, and, and so that alone couldn't work. Cosmology by itself uh, is a word that doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people. And scientifically, it is also somewhat reductionist. But if you put co philosophy, cosmology with consciousness, suddenly you have the whole ball of wax. It's just, whoa, this is about the universe, cosmology. And it's about a deep search for the truth, philosophy. And in an awareness that consciousness is everywhere, not just in humans. So it's a thrilling program. And it, it, many people will say, when they apply, they'll say, you know what, I'm going to graduate school. I've been wanting to go to graduate school for years. And this is the only place I'm applying to because it's the only place that does this. I'm drawn to study philosophy here is because I, I personally recognize that m the major issues that we're facing right now have so much to do with the way that we experience ourselves in the world. It's not so easy to do when you're by yourself and you don't have a community to reinforce um, the work that goes in with that. In PCC, there's there's the critical thinking, but there's also an openness to possibilities that a lot of other programs wouldn't consider. And that's why, that's especially why I was drawn here. I was asking certain questions from a young age and continually trying to reconcile how those large existential questions about life really fits into my social world that um, not really typically part of the discourse and part of our the structure of our current culture. So these kinds of questions that I've been asking has inspired and directed and motivated my academic pursuits and this is a particularly good institution for that kind of interdisciplinary dialogue. The PCC students uh, have, have this feeling for an evolution of consciousness and, and, and they tend to see themselves as uh, participating in the activation of a really a new and fresh and creative form of consciousness. I mean, words like the world soul, that would be something that would be a, one of their ways of, of expressing what they're feeling. And another would be that the, the evolutionary process is one that's suffused with intelligence. I've never been a part of a community that so deeply wants to sustain its relationships to one another as this community does. Our students and our alumni stay in contact with each other just spontaneously. They stay in contact with us spontaneously. And I think it's because people come here wanting to pursue something more than just a credentialing uh, or something more than just the acquisition of a certain amount of knowledge. They're coming because they're trying to imagine their way into a different sort of future. And we have students who come straight out of college. We have students who have had hugely successful careers in the world. There's a diversity of students who are coming to us from all over 
all of whom are animated by some sense that the kind of questions we ask, and especially asking deep questions about the nature of wisdom, about the nature of the psyche, the soul, about the nature of our relationship to the earth and the cosmos, that these are urgent questions in a time of maybe unprecedented urgency.